We're at the Korean Folk Village today and we're here to experience traditional Korean culture. This is located in between Suwon and Yongin, which is in the Gyeonggi-do province. And behind me is something that looks like a smoking peanut. <laughs> wanting to come here to the Folk Village for a few months now, but we waited till the very end of fall. It is now the first week of November, and as you can see, the colors are perfect! Mm -hmm. I have a clump of candy in my cheek. <laughs> nice. So we just bought some sticky rice taffy, and it's all natural, it's very sweet, it's kind of like a chewy candy. The tightrope walker Audrey! The magnificent Audrey! And we are now going into Scholar's Home. Come see. Here in the Scholar's House, we can see the different kinds of hand weaving, the different baskets on display along the wall. Other things? Maybe kimchi. Maybe it's restoring kimchi. So, what is this? So that's a Korean traditional toilet, lip. And it's a small hole in the ground. Better have good aim, I'm telling you. What are you doing? It's dry corn, not very tasty. No? Who's the workhorse in the relationship? Clearly, I am. Carry the load, carry the heavy load. Fetch the water, fetch the water. Let's... <laughs> so we've been walking around for a few hours now and we've watched several performances and visited the little shops. They sell lots of souvenirs and you can buy local treats, so it's been fun! Fun, fun timeies? <laughs> yeah. Okay, behind me are Korean totem poles, and they're somewhat similar to the ones that you can find in Canada, maybe in North America, and also in the US. 
but the big difference here is that they're a lot slimmer and the facial expressions are quite something. Take a look. They look happy. And that was our day at the Korean folk village. We are done. Is this how carpenters do it? Yeah. Okay, behind me is... I am standing on a bridge and it says, please do not enter because this place is very slidey. Ooh, and look at the man sliding all over. Oh, it's eating you.